We are excited to bring you the top 10 rookies of Madden NFL 16. At that number 10 spot is Vic Beasley, the Falcons' number 8 pick overall. One of the best pass rushers in the draft. He was 6'3", 246. Some of his Madden ratings are 87 strength, 88 speed, which is very fast for an outside linebacker, 89 acceleration, and 92 jump, which is considered the best in the rookie class. These numbers reflect his impressive combine, running a 4-5-3 with 35 reps and a 41-inch vertical. Basically an athletic freak. Seems like a very solid pick to use in a franchise team, or also he'd be a good ultimate team card if you're into playing that. At number 9 is Marcus Mariota, the number 2 quarterback selected behind Winston. Some of his throwing stats are 87 short throw accuracy, 88 mid, 90 throw on the run, as well as 88 speed, 90 excel, and 79 elusiveness. He seems like a very solid scrambling quarterback, probably around with the Mike Vick speed. He might struggle in the NFL due to the system at Oregon, that high scoring offense, that college style. Not used to a pro style offense, but looks like a very solid player in franchise. Titans are actually a solid team to run with, as well as a good quarterback to play with if you like scrambling. Number eight is Kevin White, that seventh pick by the Chicago Bears to replace Brandon Marshall. He's a very big frame, 6'3", 215. He brings 94 speed, 92 excel, and 88 catching, which is the highest of the rookie class. I'm surprised the speed's only a 94 since he ran a 4.35, but he seems like a big play type of receiver to use in Madden and will instantly step on the field and become a red zone threat with Jay Cutler and the Bears. Next we have Melvin Gordon who's going to be a 78 overall, the 15th pick from the San Diego Chargers. Great speed at 91, 88 acceleration. 80 elusivus is slightly low for running back, but his spin move is nice at 91. The one drawback I see of him is he might not be the best pass catcher. So if you like to throw the ball to your running back on quick outs, he's not good product of that. He should be a solid replacement for Ryan Matthews, who departed for Chip Kelly in Philadelphia with that trio, Sproles, Murray, and Matthews. And he's the number two rookie running back this year. Dante Fowler is a 79 overall, the third pick from the Jacksonville Jaguars. Ridiculously fast with 86 speed, 89 acceleration, and also 83 finesse move. So he's very agile, very quick, very elusive, going to be a very good pass rusher, as well as he has an 87 tackle. The Florida product has great potential in the NFL if he finds the right coaching staff. And he should provide an immediate upgrade to the ailing Jaguars defense. He seems to be a very solid edge rusher and a very good outside linebacker if you like speed rushing the passer. At number 5 we have Brandon Scherf, the top offensive line rookie in Madden 16. He is an 80 overall and he has a very high run block at 89 as well as 83 strength and 80 pass block. If you like O-line on your team, he's a solid fit, but honestly, I just really care about positional players and players are going to have big impact on the games I play. So let's move right along to number four. We have the defensive stud at a USC, Leonard Williams, going to be a part of that crazy Jets defense. He is an 80 overall, is 90 block shed, 87 strength, 85 power, 83 pursuit, and 82 excel. Looks like an absolute pass rushing beast. The Jets were extremely fortunate to land him. I think he should have went to the Raiders at four, but that's another story. He has the potential to be a very dominant pass rusher and also a huge asset if you play with the Jets in a franchise or my career. At three, we have Todd Gurley, the stud running back, who went to the Rams 10th overall. He is an 80. Pretty nice stats. He has 91 speed. 91 trucking, 89 stiff arm, and 91 carry. So absolute bruiser in this league. Maybe a mini Marshawn, not too sure. But the one stat you got to look for is the 73 injury. <laughs> he might get injured all too quickly when you play a game. The Rams are going to be an absolute great team to run a franchise with this year. They got all the right pieces. They just need to have one solid big play receiver out of free agency or one trade. And they got a great team and a great defense to lead them to the playoffs for the first time in 10 years. 
famous Jameis taking up that number two spot, the number one overall pick out of Florida State. He's got a very nice 95 throw power, 88 throw accuracy short, as well as solid scrambling stats for running that very slow 40, 81 agility, and 73 speed. So not the best scrambler, but could definitely roll out if you like to do rollouts or play action passes and throw on the run. Looks pretty solid. He also has two great targets in Vincent Jackson and Mike Evans to throw to. Would be a great player to play with and see if you can lead him to win Rookie of the Year. And taking home that number one spot came to a surprise to me, Amari Cooper, that number four pick from the Oakland Raiders who failed miserably in the drafts selecting. They got Khalil Mack last year, so maybe things are looking up as well as David Carr. He's going to bring a good target to throw to. Very nice statistics. He's the 82 overall. Very quick with that 92 speed, 94 agility, and 87 catch. He's expected to come right into Oakland and become a huge playmate. The Raiders are actually putting some solid pieces together. I actually love Latavius Murray. Had that huge game against the Chiefs last year. Scored a 95-yard touchdown, which was great. Hopefully, they can string a few wins together and not be an embarrassment this year. This concludes our video for the top 10 rookie ratings of Madden 16. I believe the ratings are going to come soon for all the other players and teams, so be a lookout for that. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, thumbs up. If not, we can live with that as well. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe now for any Madden 16 updates. Once again, thanks for watching, and we're out from Floyd Maximus.